Hey, good morning. Silvio with High Rise Industries. Today we're in Hampton Bays for another helical pile installation. Okay, we're going to be installing eight piles in this house, several locations. I'm going to try to guide you guys through uh, the different locations and uh, also a different installation methods here. Installing on pile in here in this area, okay? This uh, foundation then require a little bump out here, four by six bump out to secure this foundation. And we're going to go towards the back and I'll show you guys what we're doing. I have already begun. A little bit. There's one pile installed there, right there. You can see it. And we're about to start installing the second one. Okay, this is my handheld unit. We're about to start. I'll show you guys how it gets done a little bit. I'm going to go back outside and show you what we're doing uh, underneath this deck. Okay, back outside. As you can see, I excavated for the uh, for the pilings in here. They're going to be supporting this house. What we're we'll doing here is this house is going to be bumped out to the edge of this deck, the existing house. In order to support that, you need to install a helical piles underneath this deck to support the uh, structure from above and also further up I'm going to show you guys that this deck second story deck up there is also going to be bumped out in order to support all of this load you're going to be installing in here inch and three quarter pipes very strong pipes inch and three quarter here are the lead sections seven footers they were fast installation because they're longer. Now, I'll show you guys a little bit where we are. Right here by the bay. I'm going to go upstairs and show you later the location of this house. In the meantime, I'm going to get going. Install the piling inside this garage. By the way, this is my unit. Okay, to install these uh, heavy galvanized uh, inch, inch and three quarter piping. See you a little bit. Okay. What we're doing right now, we're driving that lead section all the way down. Stop. Okay. As you can see, I'm driving that lead section all the way down. My helpers are trying to help me guiding it down, you know, somewhat level. Very important. This is the foot bracket I'm using. Stop and go, forward and reverse. Going nice and easy against that. Okay. Okay. Each section installed. Now we're going to go ahead and feed it with another extension. Okay, put another extension on it. We're going to secure this with a bolt and a nut. Now we're going to put the unit on top of this. 
Ok. Learn another extension. Going down. Show you guys a little bit. This house here, uh, it's going to be bumped out towards the edge of this of this deck here. The existing house is going to come out about six feet or five feet. Therefore, we are installing helical pods underneath in here to support the structure. Not only this structure and this deck above here, it's going to come out too. Then are going to extend this deck out, okay, about six or seven feet. All the way up to the edge. So therefore, uh, to support this load, the extension of the new house coming out, the only way to support all of this is to install helical polys underneath this deck, right here in between. I turn around and show you guys where we are. We are in Quag. On the other side is Dune Road. Okay, this is really close here, about maybe half a mile. It's a beautiful home, as you can see. It's got a pool built into this deck. Now, this house did not, did not experience any damage whatsoever from Hurricane Sandy last year. This house is clearly above the flood, level, the flood zone level. And uh, had no damage whatsoever. But since he's planning on doing an extension on the house and coming with this deck out, the existing structure needs to be supported. So, therefore, you install the helical pilings in here. Okay, I'll see you a little bit. Hey, okay. We're, be we're beginning to uh, install the second piling in here. An 8, 10, 12 lead. As you can see, Inches do quarter piling. This is the lead section, as you can see. Over here, we installed one already. There's the final cap there. Okay. Okay, from a different position right now. So you can see this going down. About three revolutions per minute. Okay, okay I'm going to stop and uh, I'm going to show why I'm going to load the, uh, the second extension on here. It's called next to the stack. Just for a deck. We already installed one on this side. That's the second one here.
Alright? One. Two. Three. Our helicopter has now been loaded. We finish this off to the uh, power cap. Two feet by two feet. Now I've got a, uh, an I beam here to support this house across with a steel lolly collar. Same thing on the other side and uh, the other one as well. Our job is done here. A little bit of grading. This project is over. From my end. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Sylvia. I see you soon in the next project. Thank you.